okay, this is a really bizarre way to start a video, but we are at Daikoku parking area. So the reason I came down here tonight, and it's a regular Wednesday, nothing special. Usually the day that in uh, Daikoku nothing really happens, except maybe a couple of friends meeting here and there. Uh, but we just heard a few hours ago that uh, there's apparently a big civic gathering, 50 to 100 cars. So how can I possibly not come down here and, uh, and check that out? Okay, so I've come to the, I guess the further side of Daikoku where the meeting is really coming together. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of older A-series, so the third generation Civic lining up here. It's pretty cool because, you know, I've never really seen such a big Civic Honda gathering here in Daikoku. You do see a lot of these gathering in, uh, gatherings in, um, in Osaka, but to see something like this go down in, in Daikoku here in the Kanto area, Oh, look at this with the, with the Mugen wheels. God, it's so dark. We'll have to get some cool B-roll of... Uh, oh, it's way better this side. Absolutely sick. Okay, so we have a few uh, EKs here. Type R's. At least these two are Type R's. There's a nice uh, Honda 360 here next to the N1. And of course, this is the inspiration of this car. So pretty cool seeing it and it's still on the original plate. So this is what K-car plates used to look like back in the day. Interesting, there's a, a gigantic Bentley in the way, but there's this um, really cool EK here and a Type R over here next to an EG. And right here at the end of the lineup, I found an Acura RL, which seems to be uh, on air suspension and kind of slanted to one side. Of course, it's not an RL, it's, it's the uh, JDM equivalent. I think it was an Inspire, so based on the Honda Legend platform. But uh, yeah, just to give you an idea of all the Hondas that are showing up tonight. I spotted this uh, lonely CRX back here. I think we've seen this um, at another recent meet that I came here, maybe on a Sunday morning and all the cars we were looking at from the back. Look at that background, guys. I mean, it's hard to get that atmosphere to come across in videos, but I think with a backdrop like that, you get the point where this is uh, such a cool, popular meetup spot. Yeah, this is exactly what makes uh, Daikoku such a special place. And, uh, you know, every time I come here, I'm like, oh man, I've been here so many times. But then, you know, you're kind of confronted with these insane meets. What are you gonna do? You can just cannot help but come here and just take it all in and enjoy it while it lasts. You know, who knows when this could all end? Uh, we always have the police over there in that building kind of enforcing things and telling us to leave half the time. So when something like this comes together, you enjoy it. steady stream of cars coming in and out. The Beagle four-wheel drive, Civic Shuttle. And it's got, I guess if you're from Australia, that would be a rhubar. But yeah, interesting take. And that's the style there. You rock up, you get your camping chairs out, and you just enjoy it, you take it in. Another EG. Little Honda Beat. Okay, so this is the uh, EU Civic Type R, the only Type R that was ever built outside of Japan. Um, they built these cars in the UK, hence the, there it is, the Union Jack next to the Civic. Not the most successful of uh, Civic type R, type R models. This came after the DC5. It was kind of you love it or you hate it type deal. But still, nonetheless, really cool to see it at this gathering because of course it is part of the history. So now that I think about it, there was actually the Accord uh, Euro R that was built 
uh, or at least imported from the from the UK. So that would have been the only Civic Type R built outside of Japan, and then of course we had the Accord. I just find it really interesting how so many little differences in styling can be done to pretty much the same car. We've seen everything from like you know the Kanjo look, the Time Attack look, the more kind of you know collector look where you would have the moving wheels and have it like super clean. You have the lowriders group, the guys that think they're cholos. Japan is nuts. Here's one of uh, my favorite, the Fit RS. I remember actually going down to Osaka back in the day and shooting the Jay's racing version of this car. Got that thing screamed. So yeah, cool to see one. We have a little US style meeting here with the, um, the USDM version of the Honda Odyssey. We never actually got this van here in, in Japan. <laughs> The US version is probably 1.5 times bigger. If you go for the USDM look in Japan, you gotta have the, the bumper protector. A couple of cool shuttles here. This guy's got UV lights. <laughs> I guess it was fun while it lasted. I don't think I've seen this uh, particular corner yet. And the black NSX leaves too. He's definitely got some meaty clutch in there. That sounds like my 34. And this uh, show car style Civic with the lights relocated to the bumper. And I believe they're, yeah, they're JZ8 Supra taillights in the bumper. Rumors. Running two spokes. This is so early 2000, it hurts. This is Japanese policing at its finest. It's all about making a presence. Unnecessarily loud. <laughs> Somebody's swapping seats. Oni can on a Civic, what do we think? Unnecessary or we like it? It's a Civic traffic jam. This guy just didn't even bring his hood. Oh yeah. <laughs> On three spokes. Man, that interior brings in some memories of that interior. I used to have the four door of that car. I can't get enough of this Porsche. So sick. Just look at that backdrop. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can meet the organizer of this meeting. Um, I actually just found out it's 419, so uh, 19th of April. It's once a year. Okay, so this is the, the organizer's uh, A series. Got tons of uh, moving goodies. So 419, there it is. So this is the, the Kanto version of the, the meat, I guess, because if it's East Japan. A 
Okay, so I think with the police blaring sirens, um, most people are getting the message and people are jumping in the cars and taking off. So I think it's a good point to kind of call it a night and end this video. Again, I really hope you enjoyed yet another walkthrough of uh, Daikoku Park and area. And uh, what an interesting vibe tonight with all these uh, Civics or generally Honda, plus all the cool rest uh, of the cars that we came across. So hope you enjoyed it. As ever, let me know in the comments if you liked it, if you want to see more. And uh, until next video, thanks for checking in.